These are Claudina fossils. Claudinas were a very, very small type of marine animal that lived around 550 million years ago. These guys are actually incredibly important because they're not the first, but definitely one of the first and absolutely that we've discovered thus far, the most abundant early animals to have some form of skeleton. Now, they don't have internal skeletons like us vertebrates have, or even a kind of stereotypical exoskeleton that things like crabs and insects have. What the Claudinia had were a bit more similar to the external shells that things like mollusks, such as clams and snails have. But, those are still considered to be an exoskeleton, and these guys are one of the earliest examples of a mineralized exoskeleton that we have. These guys varied in size, but were typically quite small, maxing out at about 15 centimeters, and they were often actually seen in association with microbial mats or stromatolites, which I've talked about a few times before with some hypotheses being that they actually adhered themselves to these stromatolites and that's just where they lived. There's also a good amount of debate within the scientific community about what these guys actually are. Some scientists place them into the annelids, which include things like many types of worms. Other scientists say it's more similar to nadarians or in the same group as jellyfish and corals. And even more people still say, no, this guy is almost definitely just its own thing. Now, the Claudina went extinct relatively close to the start of the Cambrian, but it's thought that the evolution of the mineralized skeleton found in these guys and a few others were one of the more important features to evolve during that time and became an important player in the Cambrian explosion.